All right, well, Empire or Dark Elves, friend? I would like to take the uh, the Dark Elves here. All right. Let's see uh, what Cyphos has brought to deal with the heroes of Sigmar. Now, this Dark Elf army is similar to some that we've seen today, as it has four Dread Spears for the front line. No, it has a strong skirmish contingent with four Dark Rider repeater crossbows. As well as a Cold One Chariot. The glorious Raptor unicy unicycle rolling into combat. I'm not sure how they balance on that thing, to be honest. Now, moving on to the rest of the cavalry, we have three Cold One Knights. The Arawar Doomfire Warlock, Slanetchi Harvester. And for the leadership, we have Sorceress of Death, just with Spirit Leech and the passive the Dark Star Cloak for improved power recharge rate. And we also have Marathi in the air. She has Soul Stealer, Melkos Miasma, Greater Arcane Conduit, and Life Legion. I, I like having uh, this kit on Marathi. I think that's pretty solid. Interesting against the Empire, though. But that rounds out this Dark Elf army. But as the Empire brought to deal with this Dark Elf incursion, I saw. Well, the Dark Elves are going to be going up against an Empire army with five Spearmen as their core and also a very healthy cab contingent. Their cavalry will consist of one, two, three, four Empire, or sorry, two Empire Knights and three Knights of the Blazing Sun. Um, we're also going to be seeing a unit of Outriders on the left flank. Um, I don't see any other ones that I can tell. Um, other than this, we are going to see a Warrior Priest. He's going to be sitting here on a horse next to the cavalry. And Mr. Warrior Priest here will be bringing with him Shield of Faith, Soul Fire, Scroll of Power, and the Hammer of Sigmar. Now we're going to have a Jade Wizard with Regrowth and Earthblood. And then we're also going to have Carl Franz up in the air with Gal Maraz, uh, Midland, or Reichland Runefang, Stand Your Ground, as well as Foe Seeker, Hold the Line, and that Blood Roar that comes with him by default now. So, should be uh, an interesting fight with a lot of cavalry in it, and I think we've seen a very similar matchup before, and I, I have to say I'm a bit concerned about the Empire right now, because I think the... Uh, Cold One Knights and Marathi are going to have a pretty good chance, and it just seems like the Dark Elves have a lot more skirmishing power on their side. Yes, but you know what it's going to come down to? That glorious, glorious soul fire. Oh. If that Warrior Priest gets a couple good, uh, you know, hits with that soul fire, and then he gets uh, the scroll of power and uh, lands the second one, they could turn that cab engagement quickly and just steamroll a plank and then roll over this hill, run down the hill and just, uh, yeah, shred this Dark Elf army, which is really, you know, they're just mere opposites, you know? Yeah. These two armies, that is. They really are. And, um, I guess we'll see who comes out on top here. I mean, Carl Franz versus Marathi, pretty good matchup. I think Carl Franz wins that hands down, but... Marathi does have the speed on her side, and she's got that lovely, lovely Soul Stealer to work with. Yeah, though Marathi doesn't have any of those uh, juicy debuffs, and with Carl Franz having a full kit, uh, oh, look at this, these uh, Dark Riders are getting very close, running right into the Spearman, but yeah, Carl Franz with a full kit, yeah, I could probably put down any of these Dark Elf units, and uh, maybe he's gonna, he'll get a jump on the Cold One Chariot, no, he's going back. Looks like, there you go, Spirit Leech going down on him. Yeah, quite a bit of sniping potential with those lords from the Dark Elves yeah. and uh, getting a nice early jump on it. Yeah, I just think Dark Elves are really going to be out skirmishing the Empire right now. Look at all the early damage they're getting on here. Cold Wind Chariot's coming through, taking care of these spears. The Dark Elves not even going to let their front lines meet until they you know, are convinced that they've gotten enough damage down on top of these Empire units, and I have to say, a great decision. Um, although those Dark Riders are going to get hitting into some Spearmen for some reason. Well, the Chariot had just pulled through him and putting in some really good collision damage, and let's see if he keeps pulling through. He's in a great position here, but it looks like the Chariot might be caught, and 
crushed by Carl's hammer in just a moment here. And yeah, I think they're not going to get out of here, Scarfree. No, I don't I, think so. But the more they pull in chasing that chariot, the closer they get to all these repeater crossbows. And that's going to be a huge yeah, snipe potential. Yeah, Cab will pull back. Oh, no, Cab's going into the spears. Yeah, the Cab's definitely going to pull back. Here we go. Here's the go. Yeah. Yeah, Cab pulling back now. Dark Knights, or the Cold One Knights were diving in on they're going to pull back too, but yeah, right now it looks like the initial chip damage definitely going towards Cyphos, um, but Suse are playing this very close to his chest. It's neat though, it looks like Suse has his Jade Wizard way yep. in the back. I just noticed he needs that. Needs to uh, re-micro and bring that forward. It's, uh, yeah. Needs to get up and support some key units there. Yeah. Yeah, Dark Elf's focusing on taking care of the Outriders right now. I like that pick, making sure you have the dominance. Like, no question, you have the skirmishing dominance on the field. Um, and it also looks like they're putting down a word of pain on top of these Empire Knights, sending in the Slaneshi Harvesters on top of them. And they're going to pop down a big Soul Stealer on top of them, too. So, a nice, yeah. you know, combination right there. We'll see if a Soul Fire goes down as well to uh, delete some of these... Uh cap from the field, but yeah, looks like very well played by the Dark Elf so far. This chariot is just whittling down everything in the front line, and we'll see. I might say if the Empire Cap can just get out of this engagement and Carl can just kill this uh, Eskim chariot. Yeah. That'd be a good jump, as the Empire is also getting into some of the repeater crossbows on the legs. Oh, nice big rear charge coming in here, though. Oh, nice yeah. Blazing sun. Beautiful rear charge. Sameshi Harvesters are going to start melting very quickly, and it looks like Soothsayer, you know, in spite of what looked like some rough starts, is, you know, keeping this battle very, very even. Also, going to see a big Soul Stealer coming in from Marathi, though. There's a lot of Empire troops caught on that one. And both players are just trading cab charges. Like, the infantry is so secondary in this fight right now. I love it. Indeed, though, we'll see if Carl can just get a nice charge. Uh, I think he needs to just go after this sorceress of death and just eliminate her from the field. One good charge, and I think she's done. Yeah. You know. That spirit leech is going to just cause a lot of trouble the longer this game goes on. Yeah, man, exactly. Yeah, with this uh, cap engagement going down, you just can't have that spirit leech poking at you all game. No, not at all. Speaking of the Spirit Leech going down on the Knights of the Blazing Sun, who had some wonderful micro from Soothsayer to get into that back line on top of the Repeater Crossbows. Some Cold Blood Knights countering it, but now there's more Knights of the Blazing Sun and Spearmen coming in here to try to support that engagement. But Still, the, uh, there's only one uh, Cold Blood Knight really at good health on the field. The other one is uh, just about dealt with, and we'll probably Rampage soon as well. Yeah. But oh wow, look at this volley on Carl. This could win the game. Oh my god, yeah. Oh no, the, the trees are blocking it though, or uh, at least blocking enough of it, it seems, oh, actually no, I think Carl's dead here. Yeah, he's surrounded by enemies and Marathi's on top of him, I don't see him escaping. Uh, yeah, well, he's going to get a heal, but I don't know if that will be enough at this point in the game. Oh, he gets out of this, this would be classic suicide, just oh, barely my pulling God. through spears and saving Carl. And he has and, a regrowth uh, on him too. Yeah. Now the cab is blobbed up, and in comes the soul fire, I believe. Soul fire just moments away. We'll see. Yeah, Carl getting healed back up. Getting right back into the fight now. Yeah, and he should eliminate the remaining cold ice from the field. And we'll see. Anything can happen if a few volleys land on Carl. Yep. But... Yeah, look, he, he's still healing. Yeah. And there goes the terror out on him, and he just got a huge win uh, for his spearman in uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun up on the top of the hill there. And, uh, you know, Carl looks like he may just be going for the chariots now. Oh, no, he's turning around. Knights of the Blazing Sun coming in for some nice rear charges on these spears. And, yeah, think, yeah there, you go. there he goes on top of the chariots. Yeah, I think that's a key unit if he can just remove that chariot. Yeah. That chariot's really the only thing that can contend with all the spears at this point as, uh... Yeah, there's just one dread spear left on the field. Yep. They seem to be outnumbered, but... 
Yeah, anything can still happen. Both players kind of finding uh, their last fashion, organizing their troops, and uh, looks like there'll be the final push as, look at that balance of power, despite uh, seven minutes into this game or so, still dead even. Still dead even. And uh, yeah, Carl Franz just picking up some really nice uh, wins here in the late stages of these battles. And uh, I'm curious, you know, there's still one unit of Empire Knights on the field that's relatively healthy. We still got Carl, who's doing wonderful, and uh, we got ourselves a freeze, which is not wonderful. But are we going to see the first crash of the tournament today? Because that pisses me off. Wait. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We just got some epic slow motion fights ahead of us. <laughs> But Carl getting on top of that death sorceress and look Terror kicking in and such a big hit on top of her Man Carl is such a badass Hey Romulan did you mute yourself again or am I just not picking you up? No, I was muted Oh, my goodness. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. What a, what a moment there. Carl uh, Franz just eliminated that sorceress pretty much from the field. Uh, she may route straight off the map, too. Look at that. She's routing. She's routing. She's just, she's off the map. Nope. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Nick of time. Look at just that. Just meters from the edge of the map. She rallies. My goodness. No. And, uh, but still, it seems. Actually, I don't know. Anything can happen here. A charge. One charge from Carl could win the game. A couple good volleys from the Dark Riders repeater crossbows. They can win the game. It's, uh, my goodness. But still, it's, uh, says it's an Empire advantage. And I would, uh, tend to believe so as well. This warrior priest, this pesky, pesky warrior priest hidden in the woods. Will he come back with a grand soul fire? Just truly grand and wins this game. I mean, imagine if he runs in these spears right now, HW. He can just get the warrior priest in those spears. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they're regrouping for a heal, maybe, I would imagine. Yeah, there goes the big heal on yes. all of them. And yeah, if he gets in onto these spears, that's what he needs to do. And also, Carl, I don't know if he sees that Deathcaster, but go get her. Go get that Deathcaster. Yes, I imagine he'll do... Oh, no, he doesn't want nothing this, though. Fly right. Oh, wait, look at this. He, he might have... All this skirm cab pinned in. All this dark apps. Oh, whoa. Dark elf skirm cab, yeah, it's just pinned in here because of the spears behind them. There's a soul stealer. Marathi gonna oh, the soul fire. dive into combat. Oh, no. Yeah, that soul stealer kind of missed, though. We need to. Oh. Could just got the spears and deleted them. A big hit on top of Marathi, though, from Carl Franz. And, uh. This is. coming down to the wire. This is a crazy fight right now. It's really all about if Carl can kill off Marathi right now, and uh, he needs to get rid of that Supreme Sorceress of Fire, or Death, too. Oh my god, this is coming down to the brink. This battle is so close. The Warrior Priest and a Spellsinger duking it out with crossbows over here. My goodness. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. Flax has uh, these Dark Riders on the run. If he just keeps pushing, you know, Carl Franz is faster than these Dark Riders. If he just put, keep pushing, land or... But yeah, it's either that or I think he could just, yeah, go after the Sorceress at any time. Yeah. Or, or get a cheeky charge on Marathi right now, who's trying to go after the Warrior Priest. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, it's tough though. It looks like he's going to lose these uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun. It does, does so. yeah. And that would be a huge loss. I mean, they're going to get a leadership buff as they get that charge connected, but... Oh, man. This is so close. <laughs> and it does look... I think he needs to quickly switch onto the Sorceress here. Pretend like he's going after Marathi, and then just land on the Sorceress out of nowhere and just kill him. Oh, he's but, in... Uh, okay, he turns... Yeah. I like this too, yeah. He turns around and does the same, but on a repeater crossbow. Yeah, I like that pick myself. I, I think that's uh, pull yourself out of range of the rest of the crossbows. 
but uh, losing the Knights of the Blazing Sun there was a huge loss for the Empire, but the balance of power is still going to be in Indeed. their favor. And, uh, and at this point, he can use that to his advantage and just go clean up all these spears Definitely. and uh, retake the hill as well. He needs to do that right now, yeah. Diving in on top of these spears will Terror kick in very quickly. Doesn't look like Terror's going to kick in on them, but he's going to go ahead and charge up to these ones now. But yeah, this is so close. The repeater crossbows, though, are going to be so, so threatening to Carl in this game. And they're all coming back into range now, and they are going to start dishing out some mean damage. Oh yeah, Marathi seems to be sniping the Warrior Priest, which is a very nice move. Oh, a nice dodge. But uh, yeah, she may hit oh! again. <laughs> Beautiful dodge. And now he's chasing no, Marathi. <laughs> oh, Marathi got stunned. Play. Anything can happen here, though. Although, there you go. Now uh, Carl is in the... Oh, but Marathi just makes it out. My goodness. Oh, my God. There goes the warrior priest, though. Getting sniped down. Oh, my God. What a fucking what is game. Going on? This is just such a close game. Both players, uh, yeah, frantically. Oh, is that the hammer? Trying to limit. Yeah. Soul fire. Oh, oh my god. god. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah. I, I can. Oh, but look but at Carl. Carl He's so low. He's taking so, he's taking so much damage. Wrath. He still has the ability to heal. Them. And there may be another spear leech because this sorceress is still alive. Still on the field. But, oh my god, if Carl can get over here to Marathi, he could tear out all yep. of the Dark Elves yep. right now. This is his but, moment. Oh no, I think if he does, he could still die to the repeater crossbows. Even if he dives down, look at all that damage. He has 300 health, but Galvaraz is active. Time to go. He's trying to keep Marathi on the ground so he can get that charge, but oh my god, Marathi is up in the air again, and that's going to be a GG. Because I do not see how the Empire brings this back. Yeah, at this point, yeah, Carl's just so low on health, but, yeah. I mean, how low are they on ammunition? One's out of ammunition, but a spirit leech is all it takes. But then again, we're yeah. pretty late in the battle, so I don't know how much magic we I have. I mean, Rathy can probably take him down at this point. I mean, she is. Yeah, 1.4 KHP. Yeah. Yeah, the massive mobility with this late in the game is very strong. Yeah, Carl is just eating too many shots from those repeated crossbows. And, yeah. Such a close game. Indeed, indeed. Look at that, Carl is starting to waver. Below 300 HP now. Yeah, that was just an epic struggle. Just the... Uh, yeah, so many moments the game could have just gone either way, and yeah, wow. Well, good. That's all I might do it. Yeah. 62 health on Carl, and yeah, it's over. There he goes. The hero of Sigmar is dead, and uh, now Marathi's gonna go take out the Jade Wizard, and that's gonna be a GG. Yeah, great game. That was an incredible first game to this series. Yeah, well, that was something. That was something, chat. Yeah, it was. That was just, uh, yeah, that was top level play for sure. You won't see games much closer than that. Nope. That was, yeah, well. That's as close as you can get. Um,. And again, if we have uh, another best of five of this, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like one heck of a time. It might go for a while, but, well, that was one heck of a game to start off this series. It definitely was, and Sypho's just out with a vengeance. Um, yeah, that was a beautiful game to him. And uh, also the Soothsayer. I mean, I thought he was losing that a lot harder than he came back at the end and made it a very, very close match.